The settlement hierarchy ranks settlements from smallest to largest, with isolated dwelling at the bottom and city at the top. It also suggests that there are more isolated dwellings, because that's the wider box at the bottom, and gradually gets smaller to cities because there are fewer of them at the top. Settlements are often determined by the services they provide. That can be public buildings, such as pubs and post offices, schools, transport, buses and trains, or entertainment, football stadiums, or restaurants. While there are many isolated dwellings in the world, often they struggle to have services. Very few public transport connections, no electricity, or even worse, no Wi-Fi. Hamlets are very small villages with a few dwellings. You can sometimes find things like a church, post box, and a bus stop. A village is more likely to have a primary school, post office, pub, and maybe some simple shops. When you get to the small town, you'll often find a supermarket. There might be a bus station or other services available to the town. There may also be a secondary school. A larger town may start to have out-of-town shopping centres, museums, train stations and lots of high street shops for people to visit. Once you get to a city, you're going to find things like an airport, a university, football stadiums, and lots of other shops, big buildings and facilities for people to use. So the settlement hierarchy is a useful tool just to categorise settlements into different sizes organised by their services.